Between October and April, female leatherback turtles lay their eggs on the beaches of Costa Rica's Pacific coast. Afterwards, they embark on a four-year trip to the South Pacific. Researchers from Stanford University wanted to find out more about this incredible migration. They were interested to see if the turtles traveled the same route or if they each set off in different directions. Leatherback turtles that nest in French Guiana and Suriname don't tend to stick together as they migrate into the Atlantic Ocean. Their migration patterns could also reveal something about the dwindling numbers of these turtles. In the past 20 years, their population dropped by more than 90%, largely due to deep line fishing. There are now less than 2,000 adult females left. The researchers had to find turtles to study, so they scoured the beach for leatherbacks. A female is usually still for about an hour as it lays its eggs. This would give them time to dig under it and harness it up with their tagging equipment. The team managed to tag 46 females. They were kitted up with beacons costing about $10,000 each that could transmit their location and depth to a satellite. Each turtle was monitored for about 263 days as it covered an average distance of 8,000 kilometers. Eventually, the harnesses corroded and dropped off. The researchers plotted this map of the turtles' migrations with the information they gathered. Each color represents the data from a different season. As you can see, the turtles always traveled roughly the same route, south and west of Costa Rica. They used both the ocean currents and their own geomagnetic compasses to keep them on course. When the turtles reached the South Pacific, they headed their separate ways, but their reliable journey through the waters of Costa Rica and Ecuador could be useful for conservation efforts. 